so March is MS um, Awareness Month, and um, so I thought I should talk about something that I can't really show you, which is the cognitive um, problems with MS. Um, for example, yesterday I put the toothpaste in a backpack that I usually take um, with me on my wheelchair. I don't know why I put the tube of toothpaste in there. It's a cognitive thing and people put like cell phones in a refrigerator or you might put, I mean, I've, I, I just put stuff in random rooms all the time or in random places all the time. And then, um, of course I can't remember where I put it. And so, um, the next day I get a fun treasure hunt. Yay, right? Um, except it's not so fun when it's something really important like your cell phone or like um, your medications or um, I don't know, there's a million things that you can lose just by putting them, especially with, co with cognition things, you put them in weird places like in, like maybe I would put um, my wallet in the underwear drawer, you know, like just random weird things, but it's not like the next day when you realize you don't have your wallet, you can't just logically think about where it might be. You have to just look everywhere because it's, it's probably in some place that it absolutely makes no sense for it to be. Um, also with cognition problems with MS, I forget stuff all the time. Um, I repeat myself constantly, like that's part of the forgetting stuff. Um, I just repeat everything, just like now. Um, and let's see, what else do I do? Um, one of the other hidden things with MS is depression. A lot of people with multiple sclerosis have depression which of course I have um, and I've had forever um, in fact it was weird because I started actually getting happy about a year ago um, I would just like feel good for no reason and it it freaked me out and so I asked my neurologist about it and stuff and he at first at first everyone was just like oh enjoy it you're happy um, but Eventually, they think that I have bipolar, which I haven't officially been diagnosed with it. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. When I was in the mental um, ward, then they were pretty sure I had it. I don't know if they wrote it down on their paperwork or not, but um, anyway, I've, I've been treated for it. So I probably have bipolar, which explains why I have this whole movement thing, because... Um, it's obviously an idea I got well on a bipolar high or something. I mean, there's there's no way like a, a crippled chick can just all of a sudden think that somehow by dancing around in my wheelchair I'm going to change the world. But hey, with bipolar it's possible. Um, so that's nice. Like I actually love the highs. I mean, I had never experienced them until a couple years ago, or maybe like a year ago, and then now I get them periodically, and it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful feeling like you can do the impossible. It's, it's better than a drug. Um, and I am a big fan of drugs, so that's saying a lot. Um, okay, let's see, what else is cognitive thing? I don't know, um, I guess one of the things that um, caused a lot of problems when I was married was, um, just the inability to make decisions. I think, well, that causes problems still all the time now, um, but, I mean, it's, it's seriously very bad like, I can spend hours literally 
two or three hours looking at recipes and I won't be able to decide what to fix for dinner or something and so then I always go back to the same thing that I always make or the same you know one of my staple staple meals and stuff oh man you know it's so incredibly hard to avoid messing with yourself when you're staring at yourself in a camera like I hate so much I hate my nose it's super huge and um just all this stuff it's it's really hard to look at yourself in the camera and not want to fix every single thing that's wrong with you but you know that's life I can't do that anyway so okay tell me this though is this whole movement is it a bipolar delusion like delusion of grandeur or something I mean do you think that it's possible for a crippled girl such as myself, um, actually for myself, <laughs> to um, somehow make a difference on the world by dancing around in my wheelchair and by making like absolutely humiliating videos of everyday struggles that I might face. I mean, is there a way to make a difference in the world? Can I inspire other people to go out of their houses and to, like, dance? I mean, if I can dance, you should be able to dance, right? I mean, I can't dance. I just wiggle my arm. But, um, still, it's something, you know. Um, but can I make a difference? Anyway, let me know. Thanks. Bye.